simple DIY that you can do yourself and you can save lots of money, of course, while doing it. Now that summer is around the corner, I thought it was a perfect DIY to share with you guys. So I'm going to show you guys how to make your own seashell bouquet slash centerpiece. That's right. It's one item, but it's very versatile. I personally used it as a bouquet for my bridesmaids when I got married. I wanted to give the girls something unique. I also wanted something long lasting, but of course, I wanted to save lots of money on it. So it was a nice keepsake for the girls, but you can also use it as a centerpiece for your wedding, for your baby shower, your bridal shower, your birthday party, any type of events like that, any type of outdoor events, um, anything that's beach themed. So guys, I'm gonna show you how to create this item. So let's get started. crochet texture I wanted to give it something a little bit more glamorous so I found this which is sort of like a pearl uh, lace type of ribbon it's very pretty it looks very glamorous I thought it kind of really suited uh, the wedding theme a lot better as well too I just love the way that it looks so I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna wrap it around the top just to give it a more glamorous put together look so when I'm done wrapping this all together, make sure you do it very tightly as well. And um, of course you have to hot glue it on, but when I'm done, it should look something like this. And to me that looks really glam and very beautiful. Now that the bottom is done, um, I did hot glue everything on. You might want to be careful when you do that because if you're wrapping it very tightly, you can burn your hands, which is what it happened to me. Um, so now we're going to get started on the top part of the bouquet. So one thing I forgot to mention in the video is that I use these, which is essentially this. I use them as fillers to give the bouquet a bit more of a fuller look, but you can add anything else you like. You can probably do leaves or another filler, um, something to your liking. So now we're going to place the bouquet like this. It's just a little bit easier to actually glue the items that you want on. So what I usually like to do is kind of like to map out how I want to place my items on it, how I want it to look. So disperse your seashells, of course because these are what we're making, seashell bouquets, or a centerpiece. So you can take them, you can put them out like this, and then all you have to do after is hot glue them. So I'm probably gonna do them all around, and then after I'm done with that, I'm gonna take my gems, which look like these. Um, they're different colors. Kinda like it because, like I said, they look glamorous, but I like the colors in it. It kinda looks like the, you know, the sand and the water. And then I'm gonna take those as well, and I'm gonna attach them here on the roses itself. Yeah. So, all you need to do now is hot glue them on and um, you can do them as much as you want if you want to do a very uh, glamorous top, but I like to disperse mine and then kind of work on what else I need to add after that. So I'm going to do that and show you guys the final product. Okay guys, so this is the final product. This is what it looks like. So what I did at the bottom here was I took the same um, crochet ribbon that I had before and I just sort of made a little cute bow at the bottom just to give it this nice little effect. And of course, the final product with all the seashell and the jewels on it. So I added um, the seashells, I added some of the jewels. I even actually added some of these little diamonds uh, in between the, uh, the rosebuds. Um, you can do that as well. Play around with it. Um, it is a fun little piece. You can customize it to your liking. You can use a different color uh, bouquet or anything like that. But yeah, this is essentially what it should look like um, when you're done. And this is what the actual bouquet looks like. And now I'm going to show you what it looks like as a centerpiece. So 
I have this little jar here, which is already filled with some, um, has some like little uh, wood um, twirls like these. And it has uh, some seashells as well at the bottom. But um, when you add it into the jar like this, or you can choose anything you like, but this is what I had. So um, this is what it would look like as a centerpiece. Again, I thought it was simple. It's easy. It's fun. Um, you can make it as glam as you want. And yeah, this is what it essentially looks like. So guys, I hope you enjoy the DIY for um, my summer uh, event party decor. And I will see you in my next video.